At this time of the year, when millions of us will be flying for the holidays, could a snap decision put your safety at risk? The Transportation Security Agency is giving thousands of travelers the opportunity to try the pre-check program without going through the required background checks. It is the busiest travel time of the year. Airport lines are long, and many people will welcome anything to cut down the wait. Fabulous. The best thing. Marilyn Draper found the TSA pre-check at CVG early on. She got a background check, paid a fee, and went through the process to be pre-checked. I don't have to take off my shoes. I don't have to take off my liquids. I don't have to take off my laptop. The only thing I'm going to have to take off is my coat. But for Ava Davis, on her way to Florida, it was a new experience. It was surprising my first time that I was pre-checked. Davis isn't alone. People are randomly selected to go through the much faster but less scrutinized pre-check line. She didn't pay the required $85 fee or fill out the required application online. But on multiple occasions, TSA officials placed her in the fast lane. I thought it maybe because I was by myself and it would go faster. While many travelers may be happy with the unexpected perk, which gives them expedited screening, others question whether it's putting other passenger safety at risk. People who go through the typical security line have to remove their belts, shoes, jackets, laptops, and items in their pockets. But passengers in the pre-check line? They don't have to do any of those things. Saves me time. According to the TSA website, pre-check approved passengers must pass a criminal background check. The TSA looks for a long list of disqualifying offenses, everything from murder to unlawful possession of an explosive to conspiracy to commit terrorism. Of the 4,000 people who sign up each day, about 50 people a month are denied. This is TSA spokesperson Carrie Harmon. The idea is that TSA is moving toward being a more risk-based organization. And the idea is that if we know a lot about you because you've enrolled in TSA PreCheck, then we can focus more of our resources on the unknown. So it's, it's good security. As for whisking random passengers to shuffle through pre-check, one travel expert has concerns. The idea is that you get a preview of it. And you say, oh, I, I like this experience. I want to try it again. JL Johnson reports on the airline industry, but he's one frequent flyer not in favor of the program. I think the random part is, is what's really concerning to folks, is that they're like, if this is truly random, which it seems to be, what if the bad guys do get through? While the TSA maintains our airports are secure, many travelers remain surprised they didn't have to go through the same screening as the passenger the next seat over. More than 700,000 people are enrolled in pre-check. Ultimately, TSA says this is to reduce costs as more and more passengers sign up. Agents can process nearly 260 passengers per hour in that pre-check line. That's compared to 150 per hour in the standard lane.